All right, guys, this is just going to be a quick video on how to use my risk reward calculation. So basically at the top, what you do is you type in your account funds. So let's just assume that you've got $5,000 to trade with. The next thing you're going to do is input the total trading fee. What is the cost to buy and sell the security? So for me, uh, I'm with E-Trade Pro and to buy is $6.95 and to sell is $6.95. So the total is $13.90. So I've got that input there. Now you'll notice I've got two different strategies in the spreadsheet. I have a long strategy and I have a short strategy down here. Uh, so for this video, I'm just going to focus on the long strategy. That's a little bit easier to explain. It's the same concept. Everything's exactly the same down here, except it's for obviously short selling. So all you really have to do is say, okay, what is your desired reward risk ratio? In other words, how much are you willing to lose and how much do you want to earn? So uh, I'm sure you're familiar with Tim Sykes and quite a few other people. They typically recommend a three. Uh, reward to risk ratio. You can input whatever you want here. You can put a three, two, or one. Anything in blue, it, basically anything in this section here, the user, which is you, is going to input information. So let's assume I want a 3.0 reward to risk ratio. I'm looking at a stock. I'm potentially going to buy it long at $3, and I'm going to risk off of the $2.90 range. So 2.9 is my risk. Now here's a, a really important question. What's the most money you're willing to lose on the trade? So, you know, it may be $50, it may be $100, and it's going to basically, based on these inputs, it's going to calculate some results down here. It's going to give you a recommended position size, what price you should sell at, and if you do sell at that price, what your dollar profit will be, and also what your percent gain is. So in this situation, you're buying at $3, you're risking off of 2.9. So basically that means if the, if the stock reaches 2.9, you're going to sell your position, cut your losses quickly, that's a 10 cent risk. And if you're willing to lose $100, you basically say, okay, if I could lose $100 with, and I'm risking 10 cents a share, that means you can afford a thousand share position size. Because if a thousand shares go down by 10 cents, you've just lost $100. So obviously if you say, okay, well, you know what? I'm willing to lose $500. You get this error message right here. Because a position size of 5,000 shares, you don't have enough money to invest $15,000. It says not enough funds. Well, you know, what's the most I could afford? You could click this macro enabled text box, click for max position size. You click that and it's going to basically figure out what's the most, the largest position size that you could afford if you wanted to invest your entire account by, you know, clicking this button. So it's going to actually figure out what the max dollar loss has to be in order to give you a position size equal to your account balance. So uh, this would be $5,000 at 1667 uh, position size of shares. Now up here, I've got this little 1.5% uh, gain uh, thing. This basically means if the stock goes up by 1.5%, what would be the, uh, the value of the sell? So in this case, if the stock only went up by 1.5%, you would earn $75. And it says okay because it exceeds your total trading fee. So let's say your max dollar loss, you were only willing to accept $5. Watch what's going to happen. It'll say not enough gains to pay out your fees. You need to increase your max loss because... Basically, it's just a good rule, uh, good practice to assume that uh, whatever your total cost of the trade is, it should not be more than whatever a 1.5% gain would be. So in this case, if you were trying to you know, get out of the trade after only 1% or 2% of profit, you wouldn't be able to pay out the fees. So it's going to tell you to increase your max loss. So try 20, still not enough, maybe 50. Now it says, okay, you're good to go. Now the last thing I'll show you is this calculate exit range. So this is just... So let's say you were looking at different reward risk ratios. You could say, okay, 1.0, that means you're going to try to earn whatever you're risking. So you'll see the max dollar loss, $50. Your dollar profit is also $50 because it's a 1.0 reward to risk ratio. So your gain here would be 3.3%. You'd have a position size of 500 shares and uh, your dollar profit would be $50. And this would basically, if you compare this to your entry price, this is a 10 cent uh, per share increase. So you could write that down, then you could say, okay, let me try 2.0. That would require a selling price of 3.2, which would give me a 6% gain. You could try 3. You can really put whatever you want in here, but I added this button right here to basically calculate for you a range of risk reward ratios. So if you click this button, after you've set after after you've settled on your entry price risk level and max dollar loss, you click this button and it's going to highlight these different sell prices. So for a risk reward ratio of one, you sell at 3.1. For a ratio of two, you sell at 3.2. And a ratio of three, you'd sell at this price. So essentially what it does is it goes out and it grabs all these different gains. So you would need a 3.3% gain or 10 cents per share. 
for a risk reward ratio of 1.0. So this just gives you a nice way to say, okay, I'm trying to make somewhere between 10 and 30 cents per share. If I make 30 cents per share, I've done a reward risk ratio of 3.0, which would require me to sell at 3.3. You could easily just type it in right here and then read right here, okay, 10% gain, sell at 3.3, and then do the math, that's 30 cents profit. And that's basically the entire spreadsheet. It's just a quick way to be able to evaluate your risk and reward. And again, you can do the same thing for the short strategy. So hopefully that helps you guys. Enjoy the spreadsheet. See you next time.